Hi everyone, this is DeathChain33, and this is another tutorial uh, for Resident Evil 2 Remake. So I've seen recently a lot of people starting to try to learn uh, 120 FPS, but they're having difficulties getting it ready to set up. So I'm gonna this tutorial is going to help you get the 120 set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch Resident Evil 2 Remake, we're going to go into our options, and we're going to go under graphics settings. Uh, for reference, I have a GTX 1660 Super and a uh, AMD Ryzen 5 3600. So my settings are well. First of all, that's wrong. My settings are set up to try to get make sure I get a consistent 120. Um, it will be consistently 120 in most places, besides the uh, Callahan hallway. But the main important thing that you want to look at is these settings right here: frame rate and VSync. So we want to make sure we have frame rate set to variable, because uh, there's only there's only three options here: there's 30, 60, or variable. We want variable, so it will unlock it. This tutorial will also go over how to limit your frame rate. As, as you can see, my frame rate's already limited. Uh, I can actually get more than this, but since uh, the community's standards are 120 FPS for this, we're gonna just show how to do that. Uh, and then you want to make sure VSync is off. So what VSync does, for example, if I turn it on, this is going to go down to 75, since my monitor is a 75 hertz refresh rate. And we want to make sure that that's off. It's to prevent like screen tearing and stuff like that, uh, but since we're trying to crank the FPS, we want to get rid of VSync. Um, I would suggest toying with all the other settings as well, to be able to make sure that you can get a consistent 120 throughout the game. Uh, one of the things that I still have to do is during boss fights, and only boss fights, you're allowed to lower your FPS or your, not your FPS, your uh, image quality, so that you can still force a consistent 120. Because, for example, G3 uh, will definitely tank your FPS really, really well. And so the next part of the tutorial will be uh, how to cap it if you have a NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD graphics card. This part of the tutorial is to take a look at how to cap your FPS now. So the Resident Evil 2 Remake Community, um, the maximum frame rate is 120 FPS. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, we'll go to, you'll search in your bar, NVIDIA control panel, and you'll get a window that looks something like this. Then on the left sidebar here, we'll see manage 3D settings, click on that, and then click on program settings. So you'll have a bar here that allows you to just scroll through and find stuff. Uh, we'll find our case Resident Evil 2 Remake. We're going to scroll down on this bar here until we see maximum frame rate. So max frame rate. And then you can click here and set it to 120 FPS. And then that will be good. Um, if the game doesn't show up, you can click the add button. It'll bring up the file explorer and you go down to where you have Resident Evil 2 Remake installed. And you can just add it there. Uh, if you're using an AMD graphics card, what we can do is go to Riva Tuner Statistics Server. I misspelled that. Uh, it'll be the first one. And you'll go to Downloads. And then you'll want to download. Um, you can down the, download MSI Afterburner and it'll install Riva Tuner with it. Or you can download uh, the Statistics Server download itself. I downloaded Afterburner to install it with it because Afterburner allows you to look at uh, PC temperature and stuff like that. And then when you run that, you'll get a window that looks like this. So see how my global is 450? You can add here and it will add you a, uh, you'll be able to search through your file explorer to find where your executable is. And you can just do a, a game by game uh, frame rate limit. So, I have it set for 120 here. That will be allowed. Uh, if you have this open as well, it gives you a frame rate shower um, on your game. And then you're able to start running 120 FPS. And I really hope this tutorial helps everyone. Uh, if there are any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And have a wonderful day.